Our in-depth coverage of the historic floods continues now with new details on a story we first brought you yesterday. On Thursday, Eyewitness News took samples of standing water from several local neighborhoods and brought them to a lab to find out exactly what they contain. And tonight, the results are in. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues live from Cranston now with Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer. It's just one more thing these folks have to deal with on top of a cleanup. All the standing water from the floods is now contaminated with E. coli. Flooded out residents beware. Standing flood waters equals water contaminated with E. coli bacteria. It's no surprise. Um, there's, germs, <laughs> there's germs everywhere. You just got to deal with it. Eyewitness News was concerned about the health threat all the standing floodwaters pose. As a result, we took samples from three different locations and had them tested at Bow Labs in Cranston. Location samples came from the Warwick Mall near J.C. Penney, Fordson Street in Cranston, and the 900 block area of Cranston. All tested positive for E. coli or fecal coliform bacteria. It is gross to think about. Um, we have to be really careful because we know it is. we could get really sick from it. And we're just trying to be careful, you know, washing our hands as much as we can, throwing out all the food, all of the, you know, things that have really gotten in with the water. The state health department advises anyone to avoid flood waters when possible, and if during cleanup you do come in contact, wash everything, hands, clothes, with soap and clean water. Go home, spend a couple of hours in the shower. <laughs> Do the best you can. I mean, what do you got to do? You got you to gotta get on with your life. Now, the health department tells us you can't always tell what's in the water, so testing is necessary. That lab says it's pretty standard to find E. coli in the water, given the fact that you have the insects and the uh, bugs and the animals on the ground, as well as any runoff. Now, reporting live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.